Hi everybody, Space Chunk here, hope you're all keeping well. I wanted to bring you in for a video on what I use for running my bunker commission. So that's what we're going to be covering today. Um, bit of a new sort of setup I've sort of put together. Uh, so stick around, hopefully you like what you see. Um, again, just very quickly, just wanted to say thanks guys for all the likes. Thank you for obviously the people that are now starting to share the videos and especially thank you so much for the people that are subscribing to the channel. Obviously guys, please don't forget, if you are enjoying obviously what you're seeing, please obviously don't forget to subscribe and obviously help support the channel. So anyway, enough of that. Right, so what I tend to use um, as a ship, as you can quite clearly see, uh, we use the Catty Red, purely in the fact, as we come around the back here, And up in the back, we have two medical beds. So if you're obviously running bunkers with friends and that sort of stuff, the actual medical beds come into their own. Obviously, you've got med guns, med pens, and that sort of stuff. But if you do sustain, obviously, a slightly heavier injury, then obviously you've got your beds there to obviously be able to fix yourself up. Now, the next important part is I've purchased a Greycat PTV, and this fits absolutely perfectly in the back of the Cutty Red. I'll tell you what, let's just show you how well this thing fits. Get into it. All we can do is exit at the minute. Here we go. So when you park it up, you always need to make sure you are on the right hand side. As you can see, the actual driving seat is on the left. That just gives us enough room to be able to get out. And line ourselves up. Like always, don't go in too fast because you do just bounce off and go flying up in the air. So we go over to the right a little bit. And that's probably perfect. So if we jump out, what you will see is we've got bags of room to get through the front here. And we've got absolutely tons of room just at the back of the actual ship as well. We've got to close our doors. Now in terms of myself, what I'm wearing... So I normally just wear the light armor. Sometimes I find when you're wearing a heavy armor and you're trying to aim through the actual sight, the actual neck part of the body armor tends to get in the way of your sight, which isn't ideal. So obviously what we've got here is I've got my bed pens. Always take a multi-tool. Your med gun. I've got the, the basic salvo pistol, which obviously you start with a game. I've got a silencer on it. I've got my favorite gun, obviously, as you know, the actual custodian. I've also got a, a, a tactical suppressor on there. Now the tactical suppressors, you can purchase pretty much at any station. Uh, certain guns, uh, probably like the Gallant and the FS9, do require a different suppressor. Uh, I think you can only get them at places like Grim Hex and that sort of stuff. I could be wrong there, so if I am wrong, guys, just uh, you know, leave a comment in the chat. Uh, and then obviously just make sure you've filled yourself up with loads of ammo so you don't run out. Um, I do like the sounds of the Custodian now. Chips having a little wiggle uh, with the suppressor on. It is slightly different, but unfortunately I've only got a couple of bullets in there. Just remember, when you use silencer, whenever you use your gun or fire or anything like that, the actual nine towels will not then suddenly be alerted to your position and come charging at you. If you can find yourself a suppressor, I strongly recommend you put one on. It does make a big difference. What we're going to do is I'm going to get in the ship. I'm going to get ourselves a couple of contracts. We'll run some bunkers uh, and have a bit of fun while we're just doing this video. So I will uh, get myself in. Close that up. One of the great things with the Cutty Red is obviously, again, you've got a weapons rack. We've been running a few bunkers, and you can see the amount of storage in here. I've only got 1% of storage used here, and look, got all that stuff in there already. So it just goes to show it really is a versatile ship. So, right, let me get uh, some contracts. Um, don't forget, call to arms is a must. Again, once again, go to your contracts. Mercenary, always take the call to arms or she get your extra bonus. Make sure obviously that's accepted. And then we're just going to untrack it into your contracts. Um, and what we do, we def defend minor sight, uh, sight from minor threat. So we take that one, which is a 60k mission. What I'll do is I'll get us there and I'll bring you guys straight back in for the action. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we're on our lift. Let's get ourselves down there and get this minor threat sorted out. I keep playing with my mic settings and the volume settings. I can't seem to get 
what I feel is the right balance. So hopefully this recording will be a little bit better. Let's face the right way. Definitely don't want to shotgun rounds. Had a few rounds earlier that nothing was spawned in here apart from medical boxes. On one particular round there was, I think I counted eight medical boxes, nothing else. I definitely wasn't going to go short of med pens, that's for sure. There's nothing on the ground floor. This one. Right, ten seconds to go. Left over here. What the hell? <laughs> Hello, dudes. Oh, you dudes there. Move round. Oh wow, bit of a hit detection there problem. And as you can see, I'm not using the suppressor on this gun, so they're starting to filter around. Yep. Pretty sure most of these shots should have landed, but it's my first bunker run I've said today. Here we go. Are you one done? One of the weapons that we want. A bit. Just make a med pen. Always check in the actual armor compartments as well. Sometimes I have some nice little. Uh, Bonus bits inside. You see the difference now, hopefully, with the silencer. Give you an idea. Not even really responding. All of them shots. See the difference? Got all of those. They won't push in my position whatsoever. One out the back here. There you go. Are you done? Initiating. A huge difference there, as you saw. Started pushing in position without using a silencer. With the silencer on, didn't even react, considering it was literally a few feet away. on it. Okay. A bit of damage there. We survived. There we go. Job done. Give ourselves a bit of medical attention. Not like that. Once again, don't forget to bring that out. Obviously, it's four. Push it a couple of times. 
uh, to get your med gun, push B and then left trigger. You can actually obviously uh, medicate yourself. Let's just see. Right. What we do is we will find ourselves a, another contract and I'll bring you guys straight back in for the fun and games that that one may bring. So stick around and I'll see you all in a sec. So we're doing a 75k one here, which normally means that you'll have um, eight rather than six people coming at you. A few more people to uh, iron tails to potentially kill. All right, so we'll uh, do the gallant again to see the difference, probably with the uh, nine tails and how they respond. Maybe the guard won't get in the way. Don't forget you can change the rate of fire as well, guys, by uh, pushing B on your keyboard. Just started to push our position a little bit there. We've got a target downstairs. Push him a bit quick. Excuse me, excuse me. Down. Right, so second wave. Right, wave two. Six to six, and I think oh, it might be the last wave, wave three, where you get eight of eight. But we'll soon find out. Security. Whoa. Who's on a mission? Well, that might have been the server. Reload that. Check out here just in case there's any more. Yep, there's one more there. Another one there. One more downstairs. Oh no, he's dead. Bit of fun. Server making it a bit more interesting. Get back up into uh, storage. Wait for the next wave. Need some guards to get be killed so I can uh, pick up some custodian ammo. Anyway, not important. Let me get rifle ammo. Just opened as we got near it. Yes. Army, I'm running for a call. You can I was hoping the uh, guard would get killed there so I could nick his uh, ammo. The rest might be downstairs. Yes, we've got f eight this time. Get ourselves down. Oh. Oh, 
the way the guard just walked straight in the way. Upstairs, by the way. Wrapped around the corner. Down. Job done, guys. Job done. All right, let's have a reload. All right, let's have a quick sweep. Make sure we haven't left any boxes anywhere. I didn't Inside. see any red boxes. I think. Perfect. Right. Let's get ourselves out of here. Lovely lot of loot. Make sure I grab myself a drink. Okay, right, so what I'll do is I'll get us get us back to the ship, get myself a drink, and I'll bring you guys in, do one more round, another bunker, and then that'll be uh, today's video done. So I will bring you guys straight back in for the action when we're at our next site. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little bit earlier on this one. Uh, what we've got is, because uh, we are doing a clear out site contract, it's obviously been taken over by the Nine Towers, so we will be engaged by the actual turrets. So this is where we're going to need our vehicle. This is where obviously it comes in handy. So we're going to get our little ETV out. And sort them buggers out. What have we got here? So we've got no bullets left of that. Let's see if we've got any more custodian ammo in the... A little storage. Oh, so what we do is take the FS9 for a bit of a run. So pop you in there. We'll take you instead. Right. Half empty slots. That's more than enough. Are you there? Right. Let's get our little buggy out. Obviously, the turrets will not fire on a ground vehicle. We're perfectly safe. So again, be back out a little bit slower. Because it will just do like a little uh, backwards roll. It's always quite entertaining. Up our ship. Don't want any uh, stowaways. Oop. Definitely not what I wanted. Here we go. Buddy oh. Let's get in there. Board roll for you just to see. There you go. Right, let's get in there. Clear these buggers. Eight of eight. Hopefully they won't cause us any dramas. We go with the FS9. Been a while since you used one. A great gun. Probably one of the better guns in the game. 120 mag clip helps. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, but the old red boxes have been very lacking today. Yep, they've spawned in. The hell? Yep, they spawned in. Ow. And there you go. Oh. 
just about to come charge around the corner. Or left. Great, just going to check down the bottom of here. Quite sure where that guy was firing from. Oh, above, there we go. No one here, sometimes you sit in that little corner. One up there on the right, and moving around. Ouchie. Lucky sunshine, it's about to shoot you. I better give ourselves a little bit of medical attention. For some reason, the med pens won't work, so do that instead. Who left? Hmm. Ah, that horrible feeling. Our last two may be stuck in a lift. Power guys, unfortunately we're not going to get to finish this one. Uh, it has let us down. Two hostiles remaining, but they haven't spawned in. But anyway, uh, it's one of those things. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, thank you so much again guys for all the love and the support you keep giving me. Uh, please keep sharing them videos. Please keep liking and obviously most of all, do keep subscribing if you're enjoying the content. Uh, it does help me out massively and obviously uh, gives us a bit of encouragement to keep pumping out these videos to you. So thanks once again for watching, guys. And I look forward to obviously any comments and any feedback you have on this video. So speak to you very soon. Thanks very much. Take care for now. Bye-bye.